Hello students, in this uh, video we are going to discuss about sense organ. So here I have written as you can see, the ability to see, hear, smell, taste and feel are called senses and the organs helping are called sense organs. That means uh, the organs which are helping to see, hear, smell, taste and feel are called sense organs. So we have five sense organs. So here you can see I have written eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. So we all know that eyes help us to see. Then ears help us to hear. Nose help us to smell. Tongue help us to to taste and skin help us to feel we all know about this right so now we will discuss about the function of sense organ so you can see here first of all i'll start with eyes okay function of sense organ eyes so what is the function of eyes it helps us to see different things around us like colors shape sizes and different people is not it with the help of eyes only we can differentiate the things we can differentiate the color shape size and other thing then it help us to read and write with the help of eye only we can read and write express feeling with our eyes that means uh, when we feel sad then we used to cry so that is also a type of expression which we can express through our eyes and there are so many uh, functions are there you can write uh, so you can write of your own also i have pointed out only three now i have a question that have you seen someone wearing spectacle if yes then why i will tell you why because some people have weak eyesight so there are two types nearsighted farsighted so what is nearsighted who can see things that are close but not the things that are far away okay that means the people who can say who can see the thing um, nearby but cannot see the uh, object far away so they are called nearsighted and similarly the farsighted means uh, who can see distant object but not the things nearby okay that means um, uh, the people who can see the thing from distance but cannot see the nearby things so they are farsighted such as uh, print in a book okay so you can see that some people they used to hold the book so far and then used to read so that means they are having some problem and that is called farsighted okay so now I have written, you can see here, ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist means eye doctor. Okay. So if you are having some problem in your eye, so have to consult with doctor. So ophthalmologist find out the cause of weak eyesight and advise the use of spectacles or contact lenses. The spectacles and con contact lenses help people to see clearly. If you are having any type of problem like nearsighted or farsighted, according to your um, eye problem, uh, the ophthalmologist will suggest the spectacles and the contact lenses whatever you can take and with the help of that you can see the things clearly and we'll tell you about ears so as we all know that ear help us to hear the sound so here i have written you can see the function of ear we can hear different sounds okay and uh, some pupils are there who cannot hear well they are called hard of hearing okay people some people are there they are not having and they they cannot uh, hear properly so for that we can use hearing aid okay hearing aid so hearing aid means what it is a device on in the ear it makes sound louder and clear so some pupils are born without the ability to hear so often such people cannot speak either but uh, they can uh, communicate with the help of sign language so sign language is a system communicating by using hand movements instead of spoken words. Okay. Now next is nose. So you can see here it helps us for breathing and we can smell through our nose. Though it may be a fragrance of flower, though any strong fee, uh, strong smell or any bad smell. So everything we can smell with, our, with the help of our nose. And if you're suffering from cold and cough, so in case if your nose get blocked, then at that time our nose do not work. 
so for that we have to use some nozzle drops to clear our nose now comes tongue so what is the function of tongue it helps us to taste the food it also helps us to swallow food tongue help us to talk it is very much important because with the help of tongue only we can speak and with the help of tongue only we can taste the food and also to help uh, to uh, to swallow the food tongue is helping now next comes skin is the largest organ of our body our whole body is covered with skin so it is the largest organ of our body and uh, skin help us to feel so in anything i have given like temperature or any type of nature nature means what whether the uh, object or if object is um, soft or rough then temperature whether the like thing is um, hot or cold anything so with the help of skin only we can feel that and lastly i will tell you about people with disabilities so who are people with disabilities people having a physical or mental condition which make them unable to use a part of their body which may be uh, you know um, some people you can see cannot work properly cannot use their hand properly or uh, some some people which uh, means uh, some people who cannot um, see properly cannot hear properly so it means any sense organ any sense organ or any any other body parts which uh, may not work properly so in this uh, in some, in that case the people uh, are called people with disabilities and uh, they, they they need special care but it it doesn't mean that we should tease them and um, you know we will not uh, talk with them or you know we will discriminate them it is it doesn't mean that they need special care yes but we should Uh, treat them as normal um, means as normal as we are and we have to encourage them every time we should not tease them and we should they are also normal as us and today and i have some questions for you try to solve in your home